Christian Eriksen says he feels settled on and off the field at Manchester United, but will wait to see what his long-term future holds following a summer of speculation. One of Eric Ten Hag's first signings after taking charge in 2022, the 32-year-old midfielder's role became somewhat diminished last term, and talk turned to a potential exit. Former club Ajax and Belgian side Anderlecht were strongly linked with a summer move for Eriksen, who not only stayed after the transfer deadline shut, but was thrust into the United starting lineup. The Denmark international made his first start of the season in Saturday's 3-0 at Southampton, which he followed up three days later with a brace in the 7-0 Carabao Cup shellacking of Barnsley. I feel very good being at United, Eriksen said. If they told me to leave, I would leave, but I didn't hear that. I'm also a guy who likes being in a place where my family is settled and at the same time being in a place where I can benefit and play, that's always going to be my aim. Asked about his long-term future with his contract expiring next summer, the midfielder said, There's one year left so my focus is going to be on this year, going full out and see what happens afterwards. Erickson's comfort and assuredness about his situation saw him balk at the suggestion he could have spoken to Ten Hag about his role and minutes given the increased competition in United's midfield. It's difficult to ask the manager in the off-season how many minutes I'm going to get in a season, he said. If he starts promising minutes to players, we're going to have a long season. There was no speaking in that sense, just head down, work hard, and focus on each game. United have scored 10 without reply since Eriksen came into the starting lineup, an impressive response to the damaging last gasp 2-1 loss at Brighton and 3-0 home humbling by rivals Liverpool. The side have a pep in their step as they head into Saturday evening's Premier League trip to Crystal Palace, looking to build momentum. It's only two games and two wins. It's our aim now to keep this consistency. Not about scoring goals a game, although that would be nice, he said. Just winning the games and getting a good feeling going into each game. I hope the weekend we continue that. Big applause to this many fans showing up on a Tuesday night. It was nice to see and feel. Asked about the background noise that swirled around United and Ten Hag before these back-to-back -back wins, Ericsson said, We were on international break, so we don't see that much is going on at your club team. When you're away with international team, your focus is going to be on that. You're in that environment, so you're going to read about your national team, the games, and the opponents you're playing, not so much United. But when you're at United, it's always up and down in some weird way with people talking from the outside, so it belongs to the game. While United look ahead to Selhurst Park, Barnsley are preparing for League One outing at Burton Albion, looking to respond to an old Trafford mauling that compounded Saturday's 3-0 loss at Stevenage. Tykes defender Mail de Gevigny said, Obviously not the best result for us. When we saw the draw, it was an amazing thing to play against Manchester United at Old Trafford. The atmosphere was unbelievable and our fans were amazing. We didn't really show the best performance, didn't do our best, didn't do as much as we can. It's been a tough night for us. Don't forget like, share, subscribe, my channel Babu Das News.